morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Community Church of Sandwich today. Um, I didn't see one black fire mosquito this morning. <laughs> it's a good day. And welcome to our online visitors from around the world on the internet. I, I scarily say that. I don't know if my contract covers offshore. <laughs> Do we have any announcements this morning for the good of the congregation? Yeah. Yeah. I have two announcements. Um, the first one is that we're still looking for positions um, for people to serve the church. Uh, when we have our annual meeting in January, the last Sunday in January. Um, so if you could consider giving some of your time and talent to the church, there are positions open. You can either call Jennifer or myself um, as a nominating committee um, and, uh, and offer your services, uh, or you might be getting a call from me, so please consider. <laughs> the second thing is that those of you who have sponsored children for the Bonga Mission probably have received a letter to um, send your child uh, a, a, a note. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, they will be carried to Liberia by John Rossman when he goes in February. If you haven't sponsored a child, but you would like to help us, there are cooks, there are teachers, there are security guards, there are many other people that work there that would um, enjoy getting a letter from uh, the United States for the people who help to support the mission. And um, next week I will bring a list of all their names and put it in the notebook. So if you would like to jot a note and let them know, um, they would really appreciate it. Thank you. Don't make her call you. <laughs> <laughs> For the last five or six years, since my quilting group and the 4-H group, since you folks have allowed us to um, have our home in the basement of the Baptist Church, um, we've been making a quilt that we've given to, donated to the church for you to use as a fundraiser. And my fellow quilters are asking me, Dottie, what's the quilt going to be this year? Have you thought about what we're going to do for a quilt this year? Last summer, I had the, a man who had won the quilt the year before who came and said, do you just do blue? Because I won it last year and it was blue, and this year is blue. I'm looking for input from folks. Is blue, blue. a blue <laughs> Would you like to see Mine's not red, red or green. greens or reds? I'm open to suggestions. If people have suggestions, we're, we can't promise, but we'll do the best that we can. And so, so I just am inviting people if you have any input or if you just like to have some involvement in the decision making process or whatever, I'm very open to getting your input and not just going through my stash of fabric and saying, okay, I got a lot of this this year. I just unearthed a whole bag of greens that I've forgotten I had. Um, but anyways, I just have been throwing that out there because by the end of February, I'll be getting started on the quilt so that you have it by the 4th of July. So that was all my thing. Okay. Is there any surplus camouflage? <laughs> 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 Ignore the pulpit. <laughs> you say something, yes, I... Good morning. A couple of things. So um, Dottie's uh, request for quilt inspiration reminded me, because um, I wasn't able to share with you last week, and we actually kind of had to keep it mum for a while until the governor could actually officially announce it. But the Community Church of Sandwich is a proud recipient of a LCHIP Historic Preservation Grant. We applied for a grant um, in order for us to conduct necessary repairs to the bell tower, um, as well as paint the bell tower in the Baptist Meeting House. It's not only a safety concern, but it's also something that the trustees have been working hard over the last many years is to um, paint, scrape and paint, or replace clapboards to each side of the Baptist Meeting House as they can. So this provides us the opportunity to do that. We won um, our full grant. It was a unanimous vote by the LCHIP committee, so I'm extremely proud to say it's a $15,325 grant. It is a matching grant. 
Um, so with that being said, this year we'll be having a lot of fundraisers and some of those fundraisers that we currently do will be going towards that matching grant. Um, one of them is the quilt. So I just encourage you that um, at different times during the year, once the quilt is ready, we have it um, raffle tickets available for sale or we do it at the Ice Cream Social, at the fair, at, on the green. So if you're willing to give up your time, that's a great opportunity to share in, in the life of the church is to help uh, sell raffle tickets because again, all of those proceeds will be part of the matching uh, uh, grant um, that we need to do for uh, LCHIP requirements. So it's a, a great opportunity for us. We've never applied for one. And so I'm so proud that, that we did and we won it. Um, and it's a huge help for us to continue in our upkeep and maintenance of these extremely important historic buildings. I don't know if you know, but that church is probably um, one of the oldest buildings in town. It was built in 1792, had its first um, congregants in 1793. It's an important part of our church, or important part of our church, of course, but important, important part of our community as well. So um, stay tuned for other opportunities to support um, the matching grant process. Also, wearing my moderator hat, um, and in accordance with our bylaws, I am a Sunday early, but you can never be early to get on folks' calendars. Our annual meeting is the last Sunday in January, January 29th. We will conduct it right after um, our worship service. As we have in the past couple of years, because I think the format works out really well, don't worry, I am going to feed you. We will have a table set up in the back with drinks and, and snacks and whatnot, but we'll conduct it again up here. Quite a few years ago, of course, we would do a luncheon, but with COVID, we had to kind of regroup and figure out how to do it um, both safely and with folks that uh, need to worship uh, from their home. So we have, the church council has decided to continue in that venue, to have it up here in the sanctuary. Uh, we will have, um, it will be hybrid. We will have an opportunity for those uh, folks that are part of the congregation or members of the congregation to join us either physically or via um, Zoom. I do encourage everyone, if you're a member of the church, this is your opportunity to participate in the life of your church. It's important that we are all involved and those who are members of our congregation or friends who are interested in joining or perhaps just want to be a part of the conversation, I encourage you to come as well. Um, I do try to run a very efficient but fun and relaxed uh, annual meeting, so please, if you're considering participating as a non-member, please do, and certainly I encourage members of the church, um, not only for the fact that I have to have a quorum, um, it is important that though that we're all part of the decisions that we make as part of the um, members of this church. Thank you. Jennifer spearheaded that L chip thing, and we owe her a big round of applause. Anyone else? Okay, before we get into our Christian greeting, I just have a small thing to read. It really doesn't fit into today's Epiphany theme, but it fits into the maybe Jesus is the reason for the season theme. And, uh, had it on my desk for a number of weeks and thought, I'm not going to read this tomorrow. How does the thief on the cross fit into your theology? No baptism, no communion, no confirmation, no speaking in tongues, no mission trip, no volunteerism, and no church clothes. He couldn't even bend his knees to pray. He didn't say the sinner's prayer and among other things, he was a thief. Jesus didn't take away his pain, heal his body, or smite the scoffers. Yet it was a thief who walked into heaven the same hour as Jesus, simply by believing. He had nothing more to offer other than his belief that Jesus was who he said he was. No spin from brilliant theologians, no ego or arrogance, no shiny lights, skinny jeans, or crafty words. No haze machine, donuts or coffee in the entrance, or downstairs. 
just a naked, dying man on a cross, unable to even hold his hands to pray. For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, so that whoever believed in him would not perish, but have the everlasting life. John 3.16, very famous. This is the simplicity of the gospel. So if we could move into our Christian reading right now in a way that's comfortable for you, we'll do that right now. Where is he who was born king of the Jews? 
For we have seen the star in the east and have come to worship him. We also have come to worship him today. May we worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Amen.